I don't know what we can talk about in this nation without talking about white superiority, honestly. Who defines the meaning of God also defines the relationship between economy and God. African Americans spent $1.3 trillion last year, making us the 16th wealthiest nation in the world. Why have we not turned those riches into wealth to develop our community? A way of developing your consciousness is doing all these things. It's, it's, it's praying, it's meditating, it's um, learning, learning the, the original language. Um, yeah. So now, um, so you were talking about spirituality, and I see a couple people in the, the comment section is asking, what is spirit? Bantu, right. we like Bantu, yeah. Bantu is always uh, supporting us. He wants okay. to know, what is spirit? Spirit is the essence of the creator. In my book, Spiritual Warriors Are Healer, the first chapter, I mm -hmm. deal with that. Okay, let me just say that. There's no such thing as nothingness. Everything is connected to the one. The one, which is a consciousness, is spirit. And this spirit came out of hydrogen. Hydrogen is the first element. And from hydrogen and nitrogen, that's why on the periodic chart, you have hydrogen and then you have nitrogen. And then all other elements are how that is affected with itself. And so this black plasmic energy is a consciousness. And it evolved into a consciousness of awareness. The only difference between people or someone who was alive and someone is dead is awareness. The spirit is aware of this existence. That's why in the early books it says, I am that I am. Meaning I am part of this one consciousness. Everything is part of the one. Part of the one. That's why I can read your thoughts. That's why with my mind, I can move objects because we are connected. That's why in the martial arts, I can break three bricks or just only break the bottom brick because I can send my energy only to the bottom brick. So awareness is conscious of this energy force. And the more you're aware, the more of the energy you can bring in, okay? So I need to make that so spirit is awareness of this energy. See, if you're aware of it, now I can use it to my advantage. Right. So spirit is an energy, and it's the energy of the... Think of... See, the Europeans have messed us up so bad. Mm. We think of God as somebody, and usually some white man in the sky. Mm. Right? Long white beard with a cane. <laughs> you know, okay. All right. uh, yeah. Just like, we, you know, but... And we think of it having a sex. No, the, the spirit is an energy force. It's a giant consciousness, a giant consciousness. And everything in the cosmos is this consciousness. And the consciousness is observing itself through us. Now that might sound confusing, but let me explain something. A quark is the smallest entity that a human being can see under electromagnetic uh, 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 microfine, micro, um, magnifying glass. The quark is the smallest unit that it can see. Okay. Smaller than the atom, for all the way down, right? And when you look at a quark through this uh, electromagnetic microscope, it appears and then it vanishes. It appears, then it vanishes. And guess what? When I look at it, it might vanish when it appears to you. So it reacts to the observer. So the mm. observer is part of the creator. Mm. Observing itself. So when we, when you, I know people get upset when they say, I, I'm God-like, uh, man is God. No, you are a mini version of the creator. You have the ability to think of something as a pure energy wave and then manifest it into a reality. Wow. Like you might have a picture of your house or your apartment in your mind. Then you drew it out. Then you got an architect it, and then you build it. So you manifested it. Well, that's what the creator does with the universe. It's a mm. thought. And then it takes this energy, hydrogen, my, I, all these things and put it together, everything on the periodic chart and it creates. 
So shoe and tefnut are like his canvas and paint. Shoe is boundless space. That's his canvas. Wow. Like an artist has to have his canvas. Yeah. Canvas. And tefnut is the moisture and the gases. That's his paint. So he wow. takes his board and he creates. Have you ever seen a nebula? How beautiful a nebula looks? And the nebula gives birth to stars and planets. Yeah. It's like the womb. A nebula is like a womb, an incubator, like a womb that under pressure in there, the pressure and the heat, and when it explodes, it gives off, it creates suns and, and planets and moons and stuff like that. Well, that's all a consciousness. So spirit is recognition of the consciousness that's in a tree. Spirit is recognizing the consciousness and the vibration in a stone, a crystal, a mountain. And how do we know this? Remember I talked about unconditional love? Mm -hmm. So maybe at an early stage in our development, you felt that when you were near certain mountains, you felt a certain way. You didn't feel the same way in the valley. When you got near the mountains, things became clearer. Maybe it was the minerals in that mountain. Mm, yes. Okay. When you're near running water, you feel good. Negative ions are created. Yes, yes. So pimples around the water areas, you know, like that. See, so we began to home in on that because you were, you were in tune with nature. You weren't overstimulated like you are now. So early man, and you see, you had to get, let me say this. The reason why almost all math and science and, and astronomy, astrology was all created in the Hopi Valley in Africa is because, first of all, we're the oldest creatures, humans on the planet. Yeah. Actually, we're the only humans. The other people are humankind. The Asiatics and the Wazungo are humankind, kind of like a human. They come from us, okay? We're the only real humans, okay? And because we had this long love affair with nature, you see, we had a love affair with nature, and nature gave up its secrets. So we were the first herbalists. We, you know, you see what I'm saying? We were the first priests. We were the first mythologists. We were the first people to speak words. Okay, uh, the Twa people, short people who are the first people probably on the planet, mm -hmm. have more sounds than any other people on the planet. And they speak with a click. And they have more sounds. For example, the Hawaiians only got like 17 sounds. Okay. Where the Twa got a hundred and something different sounds. Wow. So the longer we were here, the more sophisticated we became with our movement and our sounds. So it's how you were connected to nature. Most of our African languages have a smooth rhythm to it. Yeah. If, if you speak in Russian and German, it has this hard click. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, like that's trying to get it out. <laughs> yeah. You know, so and, and the Asians, I don't know what's up with them. Okay. But, <laughs> but it's a different connection to nature. Mm -hmm. And so we expressed it differently, you know. So the sounds, this rhythm, this flow. And melanin helps the flow of energy sm transaction smooth. You remember in class, I talked about what melanin does, the melatonin and the serotonin. Yes. How it helps you, you know, the vibration. So if you don't have a lot of melanin, things become sporadic. It doesn't have a flu. So that's why most white people can't dance. Because it's not a flow. It's not a flow. Wow, you, you're you're yes, you're no, it, You know that it's like you be saying, "Do they hear what I hear?" You don't hear that drum beat. Whoa, you don't hear that bass up in there. You know, and they be like all in between the beat. In fact, it's hard to do what they do. It's hard to be moving yeah. in between the beat. You know? Yeah, I it, it just it can't. It can't be. I can't do that. Like, there's no well, way. It's, it's yeah. difficult. You hurt. You hurt yourself trying to. Yeah. Do Hey, listen, I was talking with my former mate one time who was teaching dance, and she said that when the Wazungu were in the class, they have the clavic, the bell, keeping the rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. And so you had to move to the beat of this bell. And so, and then you sing, you learn to sing the song, right? And the song goes with the beat. The white people in the class were trying to move to the words of the song. 
Wow. Lift the beat. Wow. Can you imagine you trying to dance to the words? <laughs> and oh, you don't wow. hear the beat? So their, their, their connection to nature is different. Now they can learn, because you have some Europeans, Wazungu, who can dance just as good as black people, right? Yeah. They, but there's, there's a programming. They have to be raised in it. They start dancing at two, three years old, and it yeah. put them in a class, you know, and yeah. then they become, you know. Yeah. Um, but watch this connection. I'm going to take one more thing and explain this connection. Melanin. Right now, every running event in track and field is on the world's record is by an African. Yeah. Now, you think that's a coincidence? It's because of these connections I'm talking about. When we're running the sprints, it's like white people, y'all can't get in this event. This is ours. But we know they can get in it, just that they can't win. Okay. Yeah. Because I, the, the energy that it takes to explode and that connection, melanin is involved in it. And let me say this, the Europeans who are the best at these sports are dark hair mm. Europeans. Blue-eyed blondes don't hold no records there. Yeah. In fact, they're the most recessive. Mm -hmm. And we've done reverse psychology, and you got them thinking they're the prettiest and the best. You, you know what? Yeah, let's talk about this reverse psychology. Because it's reverse like, psychology. yeah, it, it seems like all the things that are really good for us, the things that we should be doing, that we almost have a uh, like a, a disdain for. Right. You know? That's so, the programming. Somebody had to program you to do that. Yeah. And just think about, look, they still do the doll test, the black and white doll test. And it's the same as it was in 1950. What's the good doll? The white doll. What's the bad doll? The black doll. What's the pretty doll? The white doll. What's the bad doll? White doll. What's pretty hair? The straight hair. What's nasty hair? The kinky hair. You see, that's not yeah. 2020. Yeah. So the same results. That's the programming. It's the programming. So what well, what things? Oh, go ahead. Well, we're marching out here talking about Black Lives Matter. We should be talking about taking control of the schools. We should be talking about re-educating our babies. Not mm -hmm. sitting down to dinner with white folks. Not yeah. being able to sit on the toilet next to white folks, as Mal Malcolm would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to be controlling the stores, the economy, and the businesses. Yeah. We need to take control of our life. Yes.